A lot like my experiences with dating, if you can't find the toys you're looking for, maybe try a different country. <laughs> Hello there, welcome back to the channel. I am Grand Moff Tony. Now, as you know, most of last month we've spent on the road looking for the Season 2 Bad Batch figures. Well, I decided to hell with it. I've had enough. We're going over the border again. We are doing what we did roughly this time last year. We are crossing the bridge into Canada land to see if we can find what we're looking for. Because the last time we did this trip, we found the Titan Jedi Ruins Boba Fett that we had been looking for for about six months. And we found it in the second Walmart that we stopped in. So why the hell not? It was a miserable, windy Saturday afternoon. I was off work. My missus wasn't feeling very well, but we jumped into the car anyway, and off we went on the hunt. I don't have time for games. I'm on the hunt. I'm on the hunt. Now, aside from being a very specific hunt for a very specific prey once more, this was a great opportunity to get back out on the road in Canada and revisit some of the places that we found last time. Now, with it being a Saturday afternoon, we didn't really have the time to do any real exploring, so we just returned to the obvious places that we'd already been to. Now, once more, my good friend and colleague, Car Tony, is still on leave until I remember to actually do the bloody filming while I'm in the car. So let's get into this. They've got to be out there somewhere. Let's get out out there. Let's head out on the hunt. The first stop on this toy hunt was a return to a collectible store that we visited last year, Toy Wars. An absolutely brilliant store where last time I came away with a First Order Stormtrooper helmet. So I was very, very eager to get back in there. Have a look-see and see what we found. That store is fantastic. The two people who run it are so, so nice. I think they were taking care of some photos for an event that they had just handled. But the store is always really, really well organized. You can get around and see everything really, really quick. I love this place. It's a brilliant little store. And if I'm not greatly mistaken, they had even more Black Series figures than they had the last time I was there. Some figures that I haven't seen for a long time, like Admiral Rampart. I don't usually see that. I, I saw him in London back when I bought mine, and that was the only time I've ever seen him. But they also have a bunch of loose figures in there as well, loose troopers in particular, and I think the next time I go back, I'm going to scoop up a few of those loose death troopers to really fill out my death trooper squad, because you can't really say no to 10 bucks Canadian for a death trooper. Trooper, that's pretty good. Still need a commander, but I'll take some more troopers while I'm there. While I was there, I did pick up a trooper that I didn't recognize, and when I checked my spreadsheet, I didn't think that I had it, but it turns out I did have it. This was just the original version, and I had obviously picked up the archive at some point, but it's the Imperial Hover Tank Driver. I mean, he's a great little design for a figure, and if, you know what? I will never say no to more Imperial Troopers. I do like me some Imperial Troopers, so no harm, no foul. But the real target of the hunt was hitting those Walmarts and finding those Bad Batch figures. So just down the road from Toy Wars, we stopped into our first Walmart of the day. Have a look at what we found. absolutely bugger all. What is going on? This was the Walmart where I found Boba Fett last time, so I was really, really stoked to get in there, and there's absolutely nothing. Some pretty decent TVC stock, and I really, really liked that Tartakovsky battle droid that I saw. Really, really cool. If I collected that scale, I would have been all over that, but the only Black Series figure they had was Grief Bloody Karga. Seriously disappointing, so we jumped back into the car, headed back onto the road, and hit our second Walmart of the day. Hopefully this one will be better. Have a look-see. This one was better. 
but it didn't have what we wanted. Lots of Andor stuff and lots of Cassians as well, like the Imperial Trooper disguised Cassian and the mainline release of the proper Andor series Cassian. The one that I got from the twin pack with B2 Emo, so I don't really need the mainline release. Lots of Andor stuff, lots of Mando stuff. I'm pretty sure I saw a Queel in there. Really good to see him out on the shelves because I got mine back in the day, but if you didn't get him, he's a brilliant little figure. At this point, we stopped and had a little bite to eat, jumped back in the car, went round the corner and found ourselves the first GameStop of the day. Have a look at what we found there. A pretty well-stocked GameStop, if I do say so myself. A lot of those Return of the Jedi Anniversary card backs, which are really, really great. Some clearanced archive figures and the International Archive Wave that's not coming to the US, so really, really cool to see that on shelves. But the main find here was the Holiday Jawa. Now, I am an undying defender of the Holiday line. I love these figures, so every time I see them, I scoop them up, and this was a fine addition indeed. I was really, really pleased with this. But I think the real surprise find at this GameStop was the Star Wars Celebration Convention exclusive Revenge of the Jedi Darth Vader. Now this was not a figure I was ever interested in picking up because I don't really go for the stylized stuff, the carbonized, the credit collection, or even the concept figures really. I don't really care for them. I want to get like proper in-universe figures. But I gotta admit, just seeing this convention exclusive was enough to tempt me. And this was the GameStop where last year we were able to track down that at John Favreau Paz Vizsla. So it seems like this is a GameStop that gets a lot of exclusives that it's not meant to get. Even so, hell of a find. Really, really pleased with that. Moving on. Now, at this point in the hunt, it was getting very, very tight on time because we didn't actually get into Canada until later in the afternoon. So it was getting to closing time. So the missus and I actually split off and went in two different directions. I headed to a GameStop. She headed to the local Toys R Us. Have a look and see what I found in GameStop. You can kind of see why I prefer my missus to do the camera work when we're in the stores. I always feel so bloody awkward when I'm filming in the toy section and it's just like one of those corridor game stops where the counter's right there and you're right there trying to like subtly Oh, just, just taking some video for the YouTube channel, don't mind me. But a really, really well-stocked GameStop. Lots of Andor, lots of Mando, Summer Soaker as well, and there was a Bad Batch figure there, but it was Omega, and I already have Omega. I spoke to the lady at the counter, and she seemed to suggest that they did actually have the Season 2 Bad Batch figures at one point, but I never really was able to nail down whether she was talking about the Black Series or whether she was talking about those original GameStop Bad Batch pop finals because, I don't know, she didn't really make it very clear and they're supposed to be Walmart exclusive, so I don't know how they would have ended up on shelves in a GameStop. But Omega was the closest I got to finding a Bad Batch figure on this trip, so that's a bit of a bummer. But I did come away with Vel Sartha from Andor. Now, I have been walking away from that figure for almost a year. The Andor figures, I've been pretty sure I've said this in the past, they're great and I like them. And I love Andor as a series, but for some reason the Black Series figures just didn't grab me. Like, don't get me wrong, I went out and I got that twin pack and I got that Mon Mothma as soon as they came out. The rest of them, I've really kind of dragged my feet on them and I think it's just because with the prices going up and the figures being kind of basic, I wasn't really interested. And they just refused to come down in price. They're still in GameStop for like $27. And we saw one earlier in the day, Vel was on a shelf for $30 Canadian. But you know what? In this GameStop, she was marked down to $9. And even though my membership had expired, the, the special Edge membership you can get, even though it was expired, they let me have the discount anyway. And I walked away paying $9 Canadian for that figure. Very, very pleased with that. So that was my portion of this little two-pronged attack. Have a look and see what my missus found in Toys R Us.
Oh my god, what didn't they have? They had bloody everything. TVC Revan, an entire wave of Lucasfilm publishing figures. The previously Target exclusive Cad Bane and Cobb Vanth twin pack. Crescenton, loads of Micro Galaxy stuff. The still Target exclusive Holographic bo -Katan. And they even had the Mandalorian re-release of R5 with the corrected scaling. What a find. Unfortunately, however, all of this is mired by the simple fact that Toys R Us remains to be far too expensive for its own good. My god. All of the prices in this video are Canadian. Don't get me wrong, so I don't want you to think like these are US dollar prices, but even so, you look at some of the prices on these figures in Toys R Us and you're just blown away. I walked away from a Chrysanthemum up north for $10 USD the last time we did a toy hunt. So I've already got him. I was just fascinated by how the price seemed to fluctuate. Still full price plus a little extra in Toys R Us. How can you justify that? Y you simply can't. And you're looking at figures like Chira Imwe and the Mandalorian Fleet Commander, which is a figure that I don't have. I ain't paying Toys R Us prices for it, I'll tell you that right now. Loads of Micro Galaxy Squadron stuff too, just so much stuff of it. I really, really like seeing such fully stocked shelves of these ships because they make me so, so happy. But again, I ain't refinancing my mortgage to buy a spaceship, I'll tell you that right now. So with all that said and done, there was only one place left to go, and that was the final Walmart of the trip. Would this be the Walmart that rewarded our efforts and gave us what we were looking for? Have a look and find out. No, no it would not. A pretty lax Walmart to end the day on, to be perfectly honest. I was surprised to see Shin on the shelves, but for the most part it was just your usual run-of-the-mill Andor and Mando stuff. Mandor. Mandor figures. <laughs> That's what we'll call them. Mandor figures. No Bad Batch. That Omega that I found in the GameStop was the closest I got to finding a Season 2 Bad Batch figure. So, another hunt, another bust, unfortunately. But really, really good to see how distribution differs between the US and Canada because there is no denying there are some stores over there that have got some really good stuff. If you need these figures, that's where you can find them. It just so happens that they're not the figures that I'm particularly looking for. I'm only looking for a couple of figures right now before the next big wave of releases starts to hit shelves. So while there's nothing for me there, maybe there's something for you and you can take a look and pick up something that you need. So there you have it. That was the Return to Canadia Land toy hunt. We don't usually do this many toy hunts back to back, but I will be perfectly honest with you, I've been getting desperate. I've been desperate to find those Bad Batch figures, and so far I have gone unrewarded. This may end up being one of those things where I just have to kind of bite the bullet and buy it online, pay a little extra. It wasn't even really a problem when I only had the Omega, because I just put her with my Season 1 guys and called it good. It was as soon as I bought that Wrecker, man, I locked myself in, and oh, it's been hard. And the more of them that I find, the harder it gets. Like, like, you get Wrecker and he's great. You get Tech and he's great. They're all so, so good and I want to find the rest of them. So let me pass this subject off to you. Have you been on any toy hunts lately? Hit any new turf? Have you crossed a border on a toy hunt before? I'm kind of curious to find that out. In the meantime, however, I've been Grand Moff Tony. That was the Return to Canada toy hunt. You may subscribe when ready. <laughs> Can I get away with that, do you think? I'm gonna do it anyway. Did I tear all my crap up? Yeah, well, it's in the video now. It'd be even weirder if it just disappeared.